Hey, what's going on? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone, and today we're going to give you kind of a full tour and a breakdown, maybe think about a plan a little bit, with the 40,000 subscriber giveaway guitar. That's what this thing is right here. Let's just get this right out of the way. Ah, nah, we'll leave it to the end. I'll tell you how you can go and enter. First of all, let's talk about this thing. This is a brand new Gretsch Junior Jet that I ordered from Zounds. I'll leave a link to it in the description below because if you want one of these things, it's a guitar worth having. Uh, super cool, 299 bucks, not expensive. Painted neck, feels really good. Neck profile's really good. Uh, so a little uh, background on this guitar. It is a 24.75 inch, like a Gibson scale, Gretsch. Uh, it's got kind of a, a slimmer taper, kind of easy to play neck. The frets are really nice. I didn't have to do any work on them. They play good. They're pretty flat. Uh, I want to oil the fretboard. The guitar's been sitting around, so we'll probably do some lizard spit fret polish and stuff like that. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do some mods to this thing, and then we're going to give it away to one of you. So uh, stick around to the end of this video. This will tell you that'll tell you how you can enter to win this thing. I think what we should do first before we do anything about anything is go ahead and let's just play it listen to it see what it sounds like we're going to use the same Kemper profile everybody always asks me in the comments what are you using uh, I use a Kemper stage and we use a 65 super reverb profile and on this demo I think we're just going to use clean and then a little bit of tube screamer on top of it like I normally do the normal thing well then what we'll do is we'll talk about maybe some of the problems and solutions maybe if as we find them and say you know what should we change out what can we change what can we improve if anything uh, and then let's come up with a plan for what we're going to do to this thing before we give it to one of you so first of all let's play this thing and see what it sounds like <laughs> So a couple of things tone-wise about the guitar that I noticed right away um, is it's just like any other kind of low-priced pickups. I feel like I want more tone knob. There's just not enough clarity there. Feel like I want more tone knob. It just doesn't have a nice sparkly top end. Um, you can always cut that out later with a tone with your, the rest of your tone circuit or your amp or whatever. But as a baseline from this profile and this, this is the one I always use. I just feel like I want more sparkle and clarity on the top. Um, that is very indicative of a cheap pickup setup. It's it's normal. Um, but if we're getting really picky, that's the first thing. It gets worse 
uh, as we put gain on it. So they just kind of get muddy sounding. <laughs> Okay, and here's the other situation. Uh, people always ask me, should you change your pots and your guitar? Is it going to affect the tone? The pots themselves are just resistors, so that's not a huge deal. However, the taper is kind of a big deal, and this is what I don't like about this guitar. So, this is the volume on 10. This is the volume on 0. the volume on two that's the volume on ten that's the volume on two that's the volume on ten that's the volume on zero so so we basically just have like an on off switch we don't really even have a volume knob um, so we're going to change the pots for sure and we're going to put something in there with a little more acceptable taper in it. <laughs> because I like to be able to take uh, an amp and run like a tube scraper in front of it like this and then just use my volume knob the whole time, not really even messing with anything else. So be able to go like this and then turn down a little bit and have it clean up. But this doesn't do that. Two reasons, the pickups and the pots. So we're going to swap it out one at a time and, and, and figure that out. But this is still a really cool guitar. I'll tell you what let's, let's do. Um, let's go ahead and get this thing on the bench. And we'll pull these back covers off and see what's in here and then we'll kind of decide on a plan from there all right so here's the three-way switch and while it is the metric version of the three-way switch it's actually it's a good kind it's not that little plastic piece of junk so unless that thing gives us problems i don't see any reason to replace it so that's pretty cool um because that's the proper kind you know, some of them have those little black boxes, those little black plastic boxes that are um, a little internal switch and then they have the little tabs on them. But that's like a kind of like an Epiphone style one. So we're not going to freak out about that unless it gives us trouble. All right. So here's what we have in here. We have a volume pot that is... Would you look at that? I'll get you a better close-up of this, but this is a 500k alpha mini pot and it has a volume mod on it already, a treble bleed. So that already tells you that these pickups are so flat and gross that they have to put a volume mod on it to get them to even be playable. And I, there's no way I could tell that when I was playing them because they're, they're just flat. That's really interesting that it's got a volume mod on it from the factory, a, a treble bleed. Um, very, very interesting. That's coming out of there right away. And this will be the tone circuit. And it's another 500k alpha mini pot. Um, so we got some upgrading to do. This will definitely, this will definitely use an upgrade. All right. So let's look at some of the other features. So we get, we know the pots need to be changed. The switch is probably okay. Uh, a, a couple of the other features of the guitar, uh, that are going to be of question, of course. Now everybody's going to get in the comments and say, you have to change out this wraparound bridge because it's not going to intonate properly. But, 
Uh, I got news for you. This thing's not even like adjusted or anything. Maybe that one is. This one's loose right against the post. And it intonates perfectly. I took it out of the box. Um, I tuned it up. I checked intonation and it was dead on. Um, so there's no need to mess with it. If you change string gauges, possibly. But we're going to change this out anyway because I have a plan for this guitar. Uh, but if you bought one of these and you're just going to leave it normal, you don't need to worry about it. People are going to tell you you have to, but it's fine. It works great. Um, you could leave this guitar totally alone and get a nice sound out of it. It, it makes some nice sounds. The versatility of it is a little suspect just because of, like I said, the pots don't work how you really think they should work. Uh, and the pickups are a little flat. But the sound, the one sound that it makes is pretty good. Um, the fret work is actually very good. I didn't have to do any work on the fret ends or anything. They feel pretty nice. Um, it plays well. I want to oil this fretboard. It's a little bit dry. You can tell this guitar has been sitting around a long time. The tuners are, they're cheap, but they're good. Um, there's no real revelation here. They, they work well. Um, they have a decent ratio to them. I don't really see any reason to change them out. Um, but we'll see. I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, and I think it's got a plastic nut or, oh, it's actually a synthetic bone nut, I think. And I think we're going to leave it unless we have a problem because this is going to bring me to the next thing. Put in the comments what you think I should do with this guitar. Um, when we did the unboxing on our live video the other day, uh, a bunch of people already made a bunch of requests. So um, please add to that. This is what I think I'm going to do unless I get some other ridiculous, crazy, cool idea. I think we're going to put a pair of humbucker size P90s in here. Um, instead of put just normal humbuckers. We did humbuckers last time we did a giveaway guitar. So I think we're going to put uh, humbucker size P90s, big singles. I think we're going to put new pots in it. What if... We made the tone pot push pull so that you could run these two pickups in series. That would be super fun. Two big singles in series, like a huge boost. That would be a pretty awesome. And I'm very seriously considering putting a B5 Bigsby and a roller bridge on it. Um, I mean, it's not a Gretsch if it doesn't have a Bigsby, right? So let's make it into a real Gretsch. I mean, it is a real Gretsch, but you know what I mean. Um... Let me know what you think in the comments. I know there's going to be a lot of people against the Bigsby, but I think that's a done deal. I think oh, there's a lot of people that already have requested that. And it gives us some cool things to talk about with Bigsby's because they are finicky, but once you know, they'll stay in tune. Um, I think what we'll do first is in our next video, we're going to actually just change the pots out. I want to talk about that because a lot of people uh, ask that question. Does it do any good to just change pots out in the guitar? Will it change the tone of the guitar? And so we're going to do that video next. We'll put pot, new pots in the guitar and we'll just see. What do you think? Put in the comments what you think um, the result of that will be. And what do you think we'll gain by putting new pots in? I think it's going to be really cool. If you have not subscribed to this channel, now is a good time. You have to be a subscriber. You have to go to the uh, link, dylancontest.com, and enter to win this guitar. And if you live in the United States, you have a chance to win, as long as you are uh, a subscriber to the channel, and you've done that. Uh, if you're not in the United States, we're going to give away probably the same stuff that we put in this guitar, or something else, I don't know. We're going to give away some pickups. We're going to give away maybe a loaded pick guard. I'll probably let you choose. If I'm going to send it to you somewhere in the world, we might let you choose that. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, if you have any questions about this or want to know anything else about what we're doing or have any ideas, put it in the comments. And um, the other thing, too, is we started a once a month class uh, for guitar setup, 
guitar tech, that sort of stuff. It's a more one-on-one, -on -one, actual live interactive thing that we're doing online. You can check that out at patreon.com slash Dylan Talks Tone. Um, there's a way that you can uh, go and en enroll in that class there. We already have some people. It's kind of limited spaces, so make sure you check it out. And uh, I think this is going to be really cool. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you next time. Make sure you go subscribe, and make sure you give me some ideas, because this thing is going to be fun.